Riley. Grandma's gonna read you a story today. It's about manatees. Look at, Grandma's got a hat on and I have my hair pulled back. I look a little different, don't I? But that's okay. I'm gonna read a story anyways, right? The giant gray manatee circled the warm spring waters of a Florida river. Round and round she swam. She thrashed her tail and poked her nostrils above the water. She took a few quick breaths. Then she continued circling. That night, her calf was born. He looked like a giant sausage. He was nearly as long as a baseball bat and weighed about 60 pounds. Wow, that's a really big baby. Grandma has to turn the page. The newborn manatee swam close to his mother. He flapped his paddle-shaped tail up and down. His flippers wiggled from side to side. Up he floated to the surface. He needed to fill his lungs with air. The manatee calf turned his body to look for his mother. His little blue eyes were the size of dimes. They opened like a camera lens. His mother nuzzled him with her whiskery snout. She swam close to him. It sounded like they were talking. The little manatee listened through his tiny ear holes. Chirp squeak, chirp squeak. The hungry baby searched for one of his mother's thumb-sized nipples behind her front flipper. When he found it, he began to nurse. His mother rose to the surface to breathe. The calf hung on. We gotta turn the page again. The baby manatee finished nursing. He and his mother rested in the water. Their muzzles touched the sandy bottom. After a very short nap, the manatees floated to the surface. Their nostrils opened. The manatees breathed out. They breathed in. Then they closed the flaps of their nostrils and sank to the bottom of the river. Gotta turn the page again. The manatees steered their bodies with their flippers. Sometimes they found objects like fish hooks or plastic can holders in the water. They shoved them towards their whiskers and mouthed at them. Luckily, they did not swallow. One day, the calf caught a flipper in a piece of nylon fishing line. He pulled and twisted to get loose. The line tightened. The young manatee gave one more tug. Swish! His flipper was free. I'm so thankful, aren't you too? Gotta turn the page. During his first year, the manatee calf nursed when he was hungry. His mother searched for water plants. She pulled them toward her mouth with her flippers. Munch, munch. Her huge teeth looked like crinkle cut french fries. She chewed very fast. Every day she chomped down 100 pounds of plants. That's a lot. The mother manatee stayed close to her baby. She taught him how to take care of himself. She showed him travel routes and where to find warm water when winter came. The two manatees did flipper stands and somersaults together. They explored each other with their sensitive whiskers. It looked like they were hugging or kissing. Time to turn the page. <laughs> the manatees swam near the shore. They stayed close to the surface. The calf grew more teeth. He began to eat turtle grass. The sand in his foot wore down his teeth. Oh, wait, grandma read that wrong. The sand in his food wore down his teeth. One fell out. Then a new tooth started to grow forward from the back of his jaw. One morning, the young manatee was eating water hyacinths. A boat speed zoomed toward him and his mother. 
His mother weighed a thousand pounds and she moved very slowly. Swish varoom went the boat. The whirring blades slashed through her thick skin. Oh, that's sad. It cut her back. The water swirled above her as the boat sped on. When the water touched the wounds, the bleeding stopped. The injured manatee rose to the surface to breathe. Her calf swam with her to safety near the shore. It would take many months for her deep wounds to heal. The jagged scars on her back would never go away. Winter came. The water turned cold. The baby manatee and his mother headed to warmer water near the power plant. They rode the strong currents together. Squeak, chirp, chirp, squeak. The manatees breathed together. They dived together. They turned at the same time. They rolled over like barrels. They played follow the leader. They bumped and shoved and they swam upside down. Someday you might be able to swim upside down too, Riley. Spring came and the cold river warmed up. The manatees returned from the power plant where they had spent the winter. When the calf was about two years old, he left his mother. He would live in the river until the water turned cold. Then he would swim back to the power plant with the others. One day, several bull manatees began to follow the young manatee's mother. After trailing her for two miles, they caught up with her. Uh-oh, what do you think they'll do? A year later, her new baby was born. He flapped his paddle-shaped tail up and down. His flippers wiggled from side to side. He poked his nostrils above the water. Shoo! Ah, shoo! He breathed in his first breath of air. Then he dropped back into the water to find his mother. And that was the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it.